What you looking down at? Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Hey, yo, Mac, yo, yeah, Mac, 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 Mac. Let's have a talk. Let's have a talk. Let's have a talk. What was you looking at, huh? What was you looking at, huh? Um, if you actually noticed, or, you know, stay to the end of my video, like a real one, uh, my power went out at the very, very, very end of my video. Now I'm back with it. Hey, yo! I'm here. You're here. Let's get right into this game, man. So we doing, we playing Life is Strange True Colors episode 7, you know, episode 7. Last episode was all live action roleplay, and I enjoyed it. It was fire. It was like a game within the game, but the entire time it was a game. I enjoyed it. That's pretty much all I gotta say. Oh, yeah, and at the very end, Ethan got scared of the siren. No head. Stop stalling. Let's just wait. Uh-huh. 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 Get this game, man. Charlotte? Back here? Yeah. After what happened to Ethan, we're going to Charlotte. I hope this game can get my mood back up, because holy, I'm not in a good mood right now. Jeez. She going crazy in the studio. Back up. She might swing on you. Hey. Thanks for coming. Of course. Ethan's dad already pick him up? Yeah, they just left. Oh, uh, so that's like your ex? Oh, okay. I just wanted to thank you. Ethan needed today. Honestly, by the end, I was having just as much fun as he was. Thanks, bro. I was going, that was, it was fun. It was really he fun. It's the world of you, you know. After everything, I think you're sort of his hero. Well, he's sort of mine. How creative he is. You must be so proud of him. He was so thrilled to see you show up with the sword. I think that was mostly about the sword. Maybe. But I think he was happy to see you in his world. <sighs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Shall we? Uh, just tapping her now? God, Alex, don't mind me, okay? Just... A lot going on. Is she mad? Is she sad? I can imagine. Getting Ethan ready for his dad, the shop, the spring festival. I'm always here if you want to talk about anything. You're really sweet, but I'm okay. Thanks for swinging by. I'll see you at the festival. Are you sure? If you want company, I'm said no! Fuck, don't you listen? Shit. This was a mistake. Where did that anger come from? Step in. Oh wait, I got a whole bunch of Jeez, okay. Dear Alex, what a marvelous event. I'm so glad I could participate in today's live action role play. It brings me back to the days in theater. Did I ever tell you that I once played the role of Falstaff, Falstaff in my school's production in The Merry Wives of Windsor? Wins, Windsor? With enough lid prodding, you may one day get me to recall a few verses. Uh, and thank you for including me in the festivities. It's nice to take my mind off things. Anyhow, you enjoy your first, very, your very first spring festival. I can still remember mine, clear as day. Sincerely, Reginald McAllister. Thank you, Dougie. You were wonderful. Dude, thank you so much. You totally killed it. Award-winning bard material right there. Thanks, you were pretty amazing too, you know? Just, hey, does anyone know how long the play game thing is going on? Is there still time to sign up? It looks super fun. Sorry, dude, we're pretty deep at this point. Enjoy the show, though. Ah, bummer. Maybe next time. Got a whole crowd looking. Yeah, I know what's happening. Charlotte is going through a lot right now. Why is the audio changing too?
anger is so intense. Maybe there's something here that can tell me why. Gabe, it's your fault. Why would you teach me to need someone again just to go and leave me all alone? Alex, it's your fault. Everyone loves you, but I can't look at you without thinking about how fucked everything is since you came into my life. Wow. Ryan, it's your fault. You were supposed to protect us. Why couldn't you? She's so angry at everyone around her, but there's something else here. What even like, is this? What is wrong with me? I can't let myself feel this way. When did I become such a fucking monster? Jeez. He's sweet, and he's creative, and he's the most important thing in the entire universe to me. And I hate him. Jeez. For so long, it was just me and him. It took so long to learn how to be okay with that. And I was. But then... Kate... I can deal with hating Ryan, or you, or even Gabe, but Ethan, if he had just listened, Gabe would still be alive. That's true, but... It all comes back to that. <sighs> She's not lying. Mm. None of that makes you a bad mom. No matter what you're feeling, you always give Ethan what he needs. That's what matters. None of it fucking matters. He's dead. <sighs> I wish I were too. This anger could kill her. And nothing I'm saying is helping. What if... I could just take it away. This music is so ominous, it's like ridiculous. Oh. Remember about me being in a bad mood? Trying to get me in a good mood? I can take her anger from <laughs> Definitely her. not helping. Jeez. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can, I have to choose. Should I? Oh my gosh! Why are they giving me these freaking difficult decisions? I don't want Charlotte to die. I don't want to die. But I'm the bro. Oh my gosh! I feel like if I keep meddling with things, it's gonna something's gonna come of it. 
Oh my gosh, this is difficult. I feel like the only choice I have is to take her anger and then deal with it afterwards. That's the only thing I feel like I can do. I'm not gonna lie, it's just I don't want Charlotte to keep feeling like this. Let's go. Alex? Let's go. She's suppressed. Okay. She suppressed it? Are you okay? Yeah. Yes, I I think so. Let's Shit. go. Did I freak out on you? Sorry, Alex. I'm not sure what came over me. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I think so. Just maybe I blacked out for a minute. I guess that's what happens when you don't sleep. Huh. I wrecked my sculpture. It seems so crazy in here, but I feel... Is that the right idea? Is that the right thing to do? Ah, uh, she doesn't how know how she feel. Oh, I don't know. It's a good thing. Hey, go home. You're exhausted. I'm serious. It's okay. I'll see you tonight. No hug. Is that the right thing for me to do? I don't. That was so difficult. This game, jeez, bro. That was so difficult. Oh my. Gosh, I don't even know how to feel after that. Cause what she was all saying, like, like everything that she was saying, like it was every line was hard hitting. Gabe, it's your fault. Okay, okay. I was just fine. I was just being fine. I need problem. She was saying, Gabe, it's your fault because I was fine without you until you came through, and then I finally needed you, and you left me. Brian, it's your fault. You're supposed to be protecting all of us. Why did you leave? And and why couldn't you protect us? Alex, it's your fault. Everybody loves you. Everybody adores you, except for me. Ever since you came, everything has been messing up. It's your fault, Alex. Ethan, it's your fault. If you just listened to me, Gabe would still be alive. Then she was accusing herself because she was like, why am I, I'm like acting like a freaking monster. Why am I acting like this? I shouldn't be acting like this, but that was probably the most hard hitting emotional state, you know, like the, like, you know, when you tap into the emotional states, everybody had their own. I feel like that was probably the most hard-hitting for me, honestly. But now we're going to be talking to Steph, so... Is Typhon run by the Illuminati? That would explain the Steph conspicuously triangle-shaped logo. Boom! <laughs> Finally cracked it. Hey. Alex. Hmm. So, how did things go with Charlotte? Oh, did they? It's kind of private. Honestly... I think she'd want me to keep what happened just between us. That's not something Sorry. you just throw around. Of course. Don't apologize. So please tell me that the USB stick revealed From the way they were Tyson's talking, secrets. I'm going to say no. Not yet, but Alex. What's up? We found a recording of Gabe's call. Okay. That's what we want, but I they probably listen to that from their reaction i'm guessing this has not been good oh gosh this game is getting too much for me bro uh all these emotions i don't know what i feel am i scared am i am i am i sad I need to know <sighs> we're here for you okay okay what's up what is in this recording type in safety mac it's me fuck off chin yeah yeah okay just listen I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit. He could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll hold the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Mac. Whatever. Just doing my job. That's, what I, that's literally what I was expecting. 
I was expecting that exact thing. Ignored him. <laughs> That's so fucked. I knew. I knew Mac was being real. Mac yeah. turns out to be the good guy. Oh, oh, they didn't know that. I knew that for sure already. So, but Alex, you okay? It's probably just to hear his voice, like this. The yeah. We're gonna get him. I promise. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, it doesn't matter. None of it fucking matters. He's dead. He's. Is that? Is that from? Is that from Charlotte's anger? Oh my gosh. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't need to take this. Oh my gosh. I follow her. We'll be right downstairs, all right? Uh -huh. Everything, nothing's going right. Nothing, it doesn't feel like anything is going right. Oh, I hate this. That has to be because it's Charlotte. That has to be. is taking these fuckers down this usb stick has what i need time to dig through it this time i don't think gabe would mind his little sister messing with his stuff thanks for spilling your guts a key part of any good investigation if that happened to me what's happening to charlotte hmm. a cold case and a warm beer i don't know if that was the right thing to do oh. this down from his station Hope it comes in handy. Oh, my Dave's emotions are off whack because it's game. At 8.41 p.m. That's what you see from those I bubbles? I should find the next call and see if that has any information. Let's try that. It said 8.41 p.m. Lena, it's Diane. We have a problem. You're kidding. There's a kid lost in the mountains near the pit. We need to postpone. Lena? Haven is your site, Diane, and therefore this is your decision. I know I don't need to remind you of the stakes. Someone could be hurt or killed. We've been over this. Anyone up there has disregarded posted notices and accepted full liability. We're talking about a child. I'm just asking for one day. If you postpone tonight's scheduled blast, you put Rhea in jeopardy. That puts the whole company in jeopardy. Is that what you want? What do you... No. Then do the math and make the right call. Email me when it's done. I will. So Typhon thought Rhea, whatever that is, was worth risking our lives. Let's hope Diane's email sheds more light. What? Do I look for anything Rhea associated email? Seems like a lot is hanging on these inspections. This is the email Diane mentioned. So what is Rhea? I warned you, Lena. I freaking warned you. Rhea went off undetected and you insisted. And now someone is dead. You better have a plan. I'm not going down for this. At least not alone. I understand that you're upset and emotional about tonight's tra tragic, unavoidable accident. Therefore, I'm choosing to overlook this mom moment. Oh, I can look at these. Whatever. I'm choosing to overlook this mom momentary, momentary lapse of judgment. I'll be calling first thing tomorrow to discuss how we move forward. I suggest you take the night to cool off. All right, it was Rhea. Rhea went off undetected. A second blast went off that night. What did Lena say? Without the scheduled blast... Rhea will be discovered. It was a diversion. They set off the blast that killed Gabe to cover up another one somewhere else. That's why they couldn't wait. If I can find out where that blast went off, it might tell me why it was so important. This better be freaking like even semi worth it or anything, you know? Oh my god. This is Take about Rhea. Rhea, Rhea whatever. But it doesn't tell me where it was. This is Rhea. Fuck. This map's too small to tell where this is. I need a map. Right here. That's the site of the 2008. I'm not playing no more games. I'm not playing no more games. Why would they set off a blast in their current mine to cover up a blast in their old mine? Didn't Typhon just have inspections around the old site? They weren't mining for anything. They were burying something. For what? 
is it that they were burying, though? That's what we need to figure out. What the frick they were burying, and why was it so important? I'm mad, but I'm also like scared. But like, what's gonna happen next? Mike, you know, it's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. All right, bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Thanks. Talk soon. You better keep that USB with you. Citizens of Haven Springs, we are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the lathe flower cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural I'm going to have to change that outfit, I'm just saying. stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way this to see what I choose and an even better way to say for hey, look a rose sounds fun is giving away a rose something I do I'm not sure if I'm rocking with Steph Maybe. right now I can decide downstairs nah, I don't want to decide anywhere you know look at that outfit she got for that now, yeah yeah I'll yeah you. imagine you actually didn't grab the USB stick bro that would've been like bad what's the USB I stick I think I'll stick with Minesweeper from now on the world really doesn't deserve Thanor. Alex, don't worry about me. The drive down south with my dad always will always make me feel better, and I'll, we will have a lot of plans for the summer. He said we can go camping and make ultra s'mores, s'mores, but, but with ice cream on top. Oh, that, that sounds fire! Secret family, <laughs> secret family recipe. The lark was amazing. You are a really good bard, and I hope we can do it again soon. I already have more ideas to fill out your backstory. But let's change the outfit. You know, like no, no, no harm done. But let's let's change the outfit. Let's see what there is. You got this. You got the hot that, you got this, and you got that. Mm, I'm kind of rocking with that. What's this, Shoo Shoo? my date to the festival, Shoo Shoo? Can I choose Shoo Shoo instead? Uh. Looks like the festival is already in full swing. I'm pretty nervous. Traditionally, you give roses to your crush at the spring festival, so... Charlotte gave I've it to... I've never had a girl give me flowers before. Game, yeah, Charlotte gave you the flowers. Sorry, okay, I see you, Charlotte. I didn't know you cared so much about traditional... Exactly. Funerals. I'll get back to my butter churning and doilies. Shut up. You first. That's tough. I was low-key saying that too, but like, not in a bad way. I was like, you know, usually, the traditionally, it's like that way, you know what I'm saying? But like, it's not a bad thing. It's like, they will be. We're not okay. leaving that. Time to head downstairs. I really need to get around to unlocking this drawer. Just freaking kick it open. Ah, oh, kind Haven listeners, we are live. We are now live at the Spring Festival. Swing by our trailer in the park to grab some raffle tickets and maybe win some merch. Awesome, sweet. Make sure you stick around and keep your eyes on the main stage. We have something special brewing. Oh crap, I feel a concert coming on. Steph did a really great job putting all that together. Huge shout out to everyone who helped with LARP. I think we really helped boost Ethan's spirits. I had a great time too. I had a blast. Me too, we should definitely do it again. Splendid work, Stephanie. Is that what that was? No band. Thanks everyone for another excellent spring fest chili cook-off. My mouth is still burning. Killer chili might remind me to make the remind me to get the recipe for the lantern. You wish. I am so full. Guess the festival started a while ago. Do you do have our annual chili cook-off? So like that happened earlier today. It's now returning to normal hours of operation. That's cool. Just dropped a block of alabaster on purpose, because I wouldn't stop digging. Heard some kind of commotion coming from the Silver Dragon when I was walking to the festival. Everything okay? Yes, all good. Sorry, I just dropped a big block of alabaster in the workshop. Thanks for checking in. Are you joining us this evening, dear? Yes, this is one party I'm willing to brave. Ha, we'll meet, make it as painless as possible. Hey, Alex, it's Ethan. I'm really sorry about that. The light was amazing. Really, you are a bad day. You don't have to apologize. I had so much fun with you. Have a great time with your dad and stay safe. Enjoy the spring festival. I wish I could be there, but at least I'm getting crazy good work done on the next day in our comic. Sweet, what's happening in this issue? No spoilers, but Thanor finally finds the gates to the underworld and fights the king of demons. Oh snap, that actually seems like a really big spoiler. That's the first page. Wow, that's the first page? Dang. I figured it out. There was a second blast in the night of the accident. Typhon's old mind was involved. They're trying to hide something. Holy crap. Steph and I want to hear everything. We're at the stage. Meet us when you're ready. They really want me to play that game. I'm not playing that game no more. Mm. Mm. Ah. Ooh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Check. 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 Holy shit. You own a skirt? You said that in the mic. Hey, guys. Happy first spring fest. Thanks. That's what I'm saying. You own a skirt? Yeah. I need to apologize to you guys. What happened in the apartment? 
something really messed me up. Helping Charlotte. It was helping Charlotte. These past few weeks, I thought I had a handle on my emotions. But after what happened with Charlotte, it's the same old story. I lose control and I hurt the people I care about. I'm sorry. Yeah. Fuck that. If anyone needs to apologize, Bro, Steph it's is me. so why? Like she's Ever already apologizing. Met, you've been there for me. And then when you're the one struggling, I bail. Not cool. I'm really sorry. Steph really wants this rose tonight. That's crazy. It's totally fine. Please say but it's I my trophy now. New trophy. It's my trophy now, so please tell me it's Let's play for it. Oh, bet. <laughs> bet. Why? You see how she looking at me? You see how she looking at me? Not to spoil the moment. But <laughs> you see how she looking at me, bro? Oh my gosh. Why? Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that. I don't know. Let's yet. talk about it. Talk to me. But we have all the evidence we need to nail them for Gabe's death. I got a hold of Pike. He'll be here soon. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. Hence the celebration. <laughs> I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a Sounds little bit. Sounds is definitely happening. The band's this coming Friday. on soon. You'd better be front and center. Oh, Rad. Do you need help setting up for the show? Nah, it's all good. We're almost there. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. It's not possible. Can't make any promises. Uh. Text me when it's ready. Let's just, ah, ah. If I wanted to give away a rose, Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my but list. But Shoe Shoe's number one though, you know anyway, what I'm saying? Time to enjoy the festival. Happy Spring Festival, Haven Spring Community. Thanks for letting us celebrate with you. The poster has disabled for flies. Okay, let's, let's look at these now. It's been a while, I need to look at these, okay? Ryan, rage. Ryan's anger had teeth. It was sharp, savage, self-direct, a rabid animal with its prey cornered and because he was convinced he had earned that anger, he was ready to submit to it. Let it eat him alive. It was strange. Finding the shape of Gabe in the absence he left behind. I want more of Gabe and then I got Ryan got it. A whole Gabe. A Gabe who breathed and took up space and then the knife, the rope, the ravine, the only thing in the world. He hated himself. I told him the truth, that Gabe would have forgiven him, that he wasn't alone. My job is to keep people safe. Not a hero, a coward, dead because of me. Can't shake the thought that you're dead because of me and you're not here to forgive. I don't know how to go where the dead folks go, but I almost don't know how to live. Jeez. Ryan, his joy. How do I even start that gold glow, the way the pain and tension gradually fell away from Ryan's face, and then the laughter, the private joy in the moment when Ryan chose to turn a dumb mistake into a prank. The trust he had for Gabe. The love. The certain knowledge that he could mess with Gabe and get away with it, that Gabe would love him for it. I pieced it together, found it in the clouds, the goose, the car, the grave, and just for a minute, I got to have the sort of relationship with Gabe that Ryan had. I feel so freaking grateful for that. This morning, I thought I'd only ever know people through their pain. I thought I could live with that if, if it meant helping people, honoring Gabe, but then this. Joy. It, like a life raft, a pocket of air at the top of an underwater lake. Everything feels different now. Property of the Crown, a lot of blood, Royal Canadian Mount, Mountain Police can spot a goose grave from a mile, hundred miles away. We should have dug a deeper grave. It's the night of the living geese. Now I'm wanted for goose's side by the Mountain Police. Diane, sadness. The guilt sits so strangely in people. All the graving urgency of anger, all the pressing weight of sadness, each canceling the other out until you feel paralyzed, staked to the spot. It's a horrible thing to carry around with you and I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Diane comes close to deserving it. She saw Gabe as a sort of twin, another outsider dragged to Haven Springs who found a way to make this his home. She actually misses him, feels the em emptiness of the space he left. It rips her up inside, but the face of that anguish, what does she do? Curls inward, fortifies her defenses, that's her, that's her focus, saving herself. She could have been so much better than he is, than she is. She could have been so much better than she is, but I don't know, maybe so could I? I tricked Diane, dug up her grief, and fooled her into confronting it. Maybe it was naive to think of this power as basically selfless, but 
knowing I can use it to manipulate someone like that, I'm not sure I like it. No one deserved to die like that. I can't do what Typhon did. He came here looking for a better life. There's been an accident. Can't do what the Titan did to the boy you saw yourself within. Your knife with the Titan's hand, carving accident into his skin. Ethan, joy. I guess I'm used to this feeling like the whole world changes when I take on someone's emotions. But with Ethan's joy to the haven, the way it lassoed the entire town and dragged it into its fantasy, I've never experienced anything like that. I actually felt Alex dissolve, slow, th slow off, and underneath was just Alwyn. It felt good to try on a different history, to remember a different life in a different world. But when the sirens came and Haven snapped back into focus, I don't think fantasy Alex could have done what I did. Ethan didn't need her, he needed me. That felt good. Monster or mortal. Horse notices, sky sword of power, horrible creatures stalk the streets, event exactly the heroes I need. We can pry jewels from claws on your behalf, or we can wear masks and stalk the streets. Are we monster? Are we mortal? Whichever you need us to be. Charlotte, anger. Some anger blisters like old film stock stuck in a projector. It eats you up from the inside, melts away everything else until you are, till all you are is a brittle shell and a bullying mass of blame and guilt. Make some art. It's supposed to help, right? But it doesn't. It fills your shop with reminders of what a sh crappy person you are. Don't know how I knew I could do it. It was like suddenly noticing an extra limb, somehow invisible, until the very moment I thought I could use it. I could reach inside, find Charlotte's anger, turn it down. God, it hurts so bad for a minute. I wanted to burn down the whole world down, sit down in the street and let the flames peel me away layer by layer. Instead, I swallowed it. I had to. Charlotte, suddenly just fine? Or maybe not fine, but safe at least, for now. I keep telling myself it was the right thing to do, the only option I had, but then I remember her eyes, the way she looked at me but didn't really see me. Teach me to need someone again, I can't look at you, supposed to protect us. When did I become such a freaking monster? I'm carving you out of stone, finally learned how to need someone. Crack your coffin, penny for your thoughts on the freaking monster I've become. I think it's always important to read these because these are always, always great, okay? Let's get to the, let's get to the festival, yeah. It happened last year. Yep, I remember it It's been a day. hell of a month, but this makes it all worthwhile. Chad loves this town so much. 234. It's inspiring. I was like, who's talking in my ear like that, hey? The red one was 234. Wait. <sighs> this game is Damn so it. demoralizing. <sighs> Why do I do this to myself? One, hmm. two, maybe I three. can help him somehow. I have no idea. The jogger. Another year, another prize gift card for yours truly to keep. I'm such a little devil. Really? Come on, Jellybean Lady. That's not right. But anyway, Diorama. Racing out of the diner. Wow. This is a That's beautiful the first rodeo model. playing UDG. Him hauling ass toward the dock, and I get on after him because I know what he's aiming for. And sure as hell, this son of a bitch jumps right off the end of the dock and into the water. Smack, belly flop. Okay, Eleanor, so, Eleanor. Where's the after party this year? I just hope Riley is after doing all right. Party. No, she oh, left already. Come on. What happened, young to man Riley? like yourself? She's not here. What's up? Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. Hey, so where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. Well, she's got a lot going on right now. I think she'd rather keep to herself tonight. That was odd. I wonder if there's something she's not telling me. Steph. Hey, Steph. DJing <laughs> inside of the trailer and stuff. This has good memory with it. Oh, that was the that was the, the trans girl that came here. It's, a, it's something. Anyway, I'm Izzy. That's Steph. We're drugstore makeup from Seattle. We've got um merch. Yeah, Dude, I remember. Me in. I'm dying. Wish I could have seen drugstore makeup play. Hey, how's it coming? Why did Diane Good. just text me? I'd say the chances of starting a fire are. Low to medium low. How's Matt? Good. Talking. I heard the call. And I wanted to thank you. I know you tried to do the right thing.
So... What now? I'm taking Typhon down. The whole hornet's nest. I'm not betting against you. But... In the meantime... They're the only ones cutting checks in town. And I still got plenty of bills to pay. Come on, Mac. Even you're too good to work for them. <laughs> it's always flattering to see how much you care about me. No wonder you try to break up me and Riley. Ugh. There's okay, it's not like I that. Know. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. What you looking down at? Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Hey, yo, Mac. Yeah, Mac, 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 Mac. Let's have a talk. Let's have a talk. Let's have a talk. What was you looking at, huh? What was you looking at, huh? No, 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 talk to me, talk to me. What you looking at? I saw you look down, I saw you look down. I know I'm wearing a skirt. What, what you looking down at me for, huh? I was looking to. <laughs> hey Alex, wanted to wish you a wonderful first spring festival. Unfortunately, you have to work through it this year, but I really appreciate our conversation earlier today. It was great getting to know you better. Thanks, Diane. The feeling is mutual. Such cat. No, Mom, it's not an emergency. Typhon is not normal. Trust me, I'm fine. I made a mistake coming here. Get there out we go. all you can, dude. At least, at least people are, are realizing it. Yeah. God, I still like her so much. What do I do? Sorry, man. Forbidden love is a bitch. Babs. Could be. Damn it. I'm head over heels for this dark. Oh. What do I do? Wait. They're both. Yeah, I was gonna say like. Other? Wait a minute. <laughs> Come on, people. <laughs> Come on, me too old for this. Can I talk to them? Hey. Um. It's a spring fest. You're both obviously into each other. Just make out already. What? <laughs> you heard me. Is it that obvious? Is what obvious? Fuck. Bro. Julia, I don't want to screw this up. What's obvious? Talk to me. Are we talking about the same thing? Look, if we weren't in the middle of the street, I would totally jump you right now. Uh, I... Do you want to come back to my place tonight? Let's Maybe. go! Oh, oh my god, absolutely yes. I could go back and get a rose for Steph or Ryan. Oh, they have a cart on the grounds. I ran all the way over here for no reason. Thank you. Roses, there we go. How did I miss that, bro? Who am I giving it to? I don't know. I don't know who to give it to. I don't know. Ryan or Steph? Bro, they're both fire. Ah, uh, I don't know. If we're going personality-wise, I'm going with Steph, okay? Like, with the stuff that they, she enjoys. She enjoys music, and Ryan enjoys birds. You know, something else. So let's go to Steph. You know, I was gonna stop thinking about it. Let's, let's go to Steph. The big choice. This is for you. Please don't tell me Ryan can see it in the background or something. Are you, know? you serious? Of course I am. Dude. Thank you so much. This totally makes my night. I'm glad. Hey. Could we meet up after the show tonight? I actually have some pretty big news to share. She said mysteriously. <laughs> yeah, course. nah. Uh, I'm not gonna see you after, no. Speaking of, Ryan should be done any minute. Meet me there? Yeah. Sure. Hmm. Yeah, that was a big choice. <sighs> Everything is set. Meet me at the stage, on my way. Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. I better head back. I don't think Ryan can go a day in his life without being helpful to someone. Mm -hmm. Hey! Oh, hey. Just in time. So, who's playing? Yours truly. Seriously? That's awesome! I thought she was playing the entire time, oh, okay. Wait, who else? You? Steph. <laughs> who else is playing? Who else is playing? Who else is playing? 
<laughs> Who has the plank? I hate you both. We didn't want you to wuss out. Are you serious? Wussing out is highly underrated. We haven't even practiced yet. Who cares? Everyone's wasted anyway. Just play whatever. I'll follow your lead. This is gonna be awesome. Trust me. So these people, bro. These people. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. Calm down. We're fine. Um. We've never played together before, and. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is very anyway, lovely. Sorry if this sucks. <laughs> this this is your community. You know what I'm saying? You can be you can be yourself because they know you. At least they should at least know you. What song are we playing? Let me decide. Let's play. Let's play. Um, we're just gonna play the um, that one song. Oh, okay. Oh, Charlotte. Let's talk to her. Let's talk to her. Talk to her. Talk, 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 talk. Let's talk! Hey, Charlotte. Oh, please tell me she's okay. How deep do you think? The lake, I mean. I don't know. I felt... Horrible this afternoon. I didn't know if I could survive that feeling. But now... It's like when your leg falls asleep. Mm. And even though it's still attached, it's become something other than you. Mm -hmm. Dang. My whole life... I've always felt so deeply. But maybe uh, this is better? Is that, that, that wasn't the right choice? I thought so. I, mm. I, just, I didn't know how she was going to pan out. I had no idea. I'm saying sorry. I'm saying sorry. I just. I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Mm. Me neither. <sighs> Good to see you, Alex. Have fun at the festival. She feels so off. Ah, that's probably the worst mistake I made the entire playthrough. Unless something is going to come back and bite me, and then, like, you know, but I don't know. <clears throat> okay, come meet me on a rooftop. Sure thing. Yeah, I got you. Okay. I gotta admit. This is a pretty great feeling. That was something else, Alex, Steph, bravo. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you guys, we had a blast. Totally starstruck. What do you mean, totally starstruck, bro? Shut up. <clears throat> Sounds like Steph wants to meet me on the rooftop. Steph? Steph? Uh, you said you have some news? Steph? I'm leaving. I thought so. I'm actually leaving I Haven thought Springs. So. I thought so. Can you believe it? I like, just Back on thought the road that. Again. Fucking finally. I just Wait, thought that. Seriously? I'm gonna play music again, Alex. Anywhere I want. God, I forgot how fucking good it feels. I don't it's like if I like should I be honest and be like, dang, I don't want you to leave. Um I'm I mean, out of the two, I am happy for her, so holy shit, Steph, that's so cool. I'm really happy for you. 
You better keep in touch. You think it's that easy to get rid of me? Come on, Chen. I need a new destination. <sighs> You're my good luck charm. You have shit taste in good luck charms. <laughs> Shut up. Pick one. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> Try it. <clears throat> Sailing Berlin or Ocean? I feel like Berlin because of Berlin, you know? Because Berlin. Berlin. Fuck yeah. Oh. Bowie recorded Heroes in Berlin, and that record slaps. Where am I gonna live there? What? Yeah. Day one, you fall in with the crustiest punks in Berlin. They take you to their squatted warehouse. I start booking bands from all over the world to play our space. Soon, we're internationally famous as a mm. DIY venue. Which attracts the attention of the authorities. They surround the place to evict you. So we use our earnings to buy a stack of shipping containers by the river and become even more badass. <laughs> He's making new stories already. Ooh. That sounds like a pretty spectacular plan. Great. Then come with me. I knew she was going to ask that too. To I Berlin? Don't, I don't know if I sure. can. Sure, why not? Doesn't have to be our first stop, but one day... I still have friends in Seattle who book shows. Maybe we start there, or I don't know, Kansas City. I haven't Vegas, even. I've only been here for like a month, once. I believe. Look, I don't want to pressure you, but I've seen you give so much of yourself to make sure other people get what they need. And I guess I wonder if you've thought about what you need. Hmm. Yes, I mean, obviously, I like you a lot, Alex. You mean the fucking world to me. So obviously, I'm about to press X, like, what the heck? I pressed the wrong thing. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> but to leave Haven Spring? Like, that's crazy, you know? Okay, calm down. Okay, I, I, I get it. Go. Wow. anything now okay <laughs> just think about it I will thank you I'm gonna head back down find me later Here you go. She's going to Berlin, bro. USB. We're still not done with typing. Is that moment? Hey, Gabe. Can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died? Who's responsible? Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull, which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. Yeah. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. 
I just wish you were here to see it. Oh, absolutely. Oh, um, also, I kissed Steph, so that happened. Oh, I just want to sit here for a moment, you know? I just want to sit here. Okay, nothing thing around, nothing around. I think it's time to end the episode on that note. Episode 7 over. I had to choose between Ryan and Steph. And what it came down to is honestly just personality-wise. Who I like more doesn't really, like, they, they, I like them both, like, equally. But, like, who do I actually rock? Like, wait, Ryan, he's cool, but he likes birds, you know? <laughs> he be liking birds and stuff, which is not, like, it does, it's not bad. It just doesn't align with what I rock with. I like music a lot. Maybe not the same type of music as, like, a Steph. But I still like music, so that's why I chose Steph instead of Ryan. So it could have been a toss up either way, you know? That was episode 7, Life of Strange True Colors. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's your Breezy Biscuit, and I'm out. I, got, I gave you guys what you wanted, right? You guys wanted Alex and Steph? I knew you guys wanted it. I'm just a good YouTuber like that, you know? I know.